All righty, guys, just a quick one. Um, I just want to kind of say that we, uh, we went down to uh, Top Golf uh, for Jake's 30th birthday. Now, I was so surprised about how busy the place was. And the big thing was it was busy with seemingly non-golfers. So we got there at about 7 o'clock-ish and uh, probably waited a good two hours, maybe a little bit more, um, to get in. So that's, you know, I wasn't too pissed off with that, even though, of course, it, it, was, it was busy. Um, and so that's three levels of people waiting to get on. Uh, and that was, like I said, two hours, two and a bit hours uh, that we waited. And it was fine because it was live music. There was a whole lot of stuff going on. And it's not like you're waiting for two hours doing absolutely nothing. Um, but the big thing that I found really, really interesting was how many seemingly non-golfers there was. I, had, I don't know what a golfer looks like, but certainly seemed like there was a lot of people who weren't really... They certainly weren't dressed like golfers. It was more dressed like uh, just going out. And people just out there just having a few drinks and then just enjoying themselves. And that's sort of the biggest thing that was um, interesting to me. Um, like I said, I know it was busy and that was good for the place and hopefully that continues. And then, of course, Richo and I were there for the Mizuno, um, launch of the Mizuno 9, uh, 19 JPX stuff. And even that was a Wednesday night and it was busy. So that was really, really interesting to me. So probably from about 5.30 onwards, um, it, it was busy. So that's always nice for, for a place like that to, you know, to be like that. But anyway, it was a driving range. Everyone loves it. But anyway, um, getting back to Jake's thing was uh, we left there at about 11.30-ish. And like I said, up until when we get in, got in at like 9 o'clock, 9.30, it was chockers. It was pumping. There was plenty of drinks. Um, there was heaps of staff on. Like, it's crazy the amount of staff that they've got going on at that place. And they serve well. The food was great. Come out at, at a timely matter. What more do you want? And of course, if you're 12 or more people, then you can you can book. If it, you know, we we didn't book. We had like eight eight people, and um, so we couldn't book. Uh, but at the end of the day, we waited, and it was brilliant to wait. Like I said, uh, the live a live bloke on singing, and the beers were cheap. The food was great, and the the company was brilliant as well. So thanks, Jake, for inviting me. Rich, I couldn't turn up, but anyway, that's just my little take on Top Golf on a normal time instead of we, we were down there before it opened. And it was as good as I expected, maybe even better. And it was great to see people who seemed to not be golfers or, you know, regular golfers out there enjoying themselves. So guys, anything to get people into the game, I'm, I'm impressed with it. So thanks for checking out the video, guys. See you next time. And uh, yeah, get down to Cop Top Golf. It was um, certainly, it was interesting. There was plenty of people around and it was great fun. Anyway, guys, go check it out. We'll see you next time. See you later.